Hey guys, Tom here with another product review and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be comparing two competing products. So the first product we're going to be looking at is called the FRED light and that stands for Flashing Roadside Emergency Disc. The other product we're going to be looking at is called the 911 LED Emergency Lighting Kit. And this is made by a company called Flare Alert. So we're going to be looking at these two products, comparing them, uh, seeing the differences and uh, figure out which one's the better buy. So first of all, both products come in a three pack and they're both priced about the same for a little bit less than $30. So for 10 bucks a piece, you get one of these um, discs or lights. The design for each product is really quite different. The Fred Light is a much more rugged device. It's encompassed in this rubbery orange material that both acts as shock absorbing for drops and falls and just makes this feel more like a rugged device. I feel like I could throw this across the room and it would be completely fine. The Fred Light, don't get me wrong, this is a, still a very uh, tough device, but it feels more fragile than the Fred. The, um, there's, there's no uh, rubberized coating for this. It's completely just all plastic around it. However, uh, this product should, should still withstand quite a lot of force. I saw pictures of cars running over this product and it's surviving just fine. So I think both of them are built quite well. However, when it comes to build quality, the Fred's really top notch uh, just because of how rugged it is. Uh, it could, I feel like it could withstand a lot more abuse. So let's, let's look a little bit more closely at the Fred product. So as you can see, the Fred is completely flat on top. It has a single power button, three LEDs on the top, and then the, mo the bulk of the LEDs are located around the edge, like so. On the back side, you have two screws that will secure the back plate, a handle for hanging it, as well as a magnet for sticking it on metal objects. The flare alert light is more simple. You just have a simple dome on top where the single LED bulb is located in the center of this dome. There is a single button on the top as well. There are four small rubber feet uh, I don't really know how much how useful these are. Sticking this on on the side of the road, those little feet aren't really going to make much of a difference in my opinion. However, on a smooth surface, it does help give it a little bit of grip. On the back side, there is a sticker talking about instructions and to use battery AAA batteries. There's a magnet also located under this sticker for sticking it on metal objects. In order to power the Fred, you have to remove two screws from the back side. Then there, you see there's, there's these two arrows on, on stickers. And these arrows are pointing to these two tabs. And the two tabs is basically where you push to remove the back plate. The back plate has a, has a rubber o-ring making the Fred completely weather resistant, water resistant. The Fred's powered by three AAA batteries. The flare alert doesn't have any screws. Instead, you simply twist the unit and it opens up. I have to admit it is much easier to open this unit compared to the Fred. The flare unit also has a rubber o-ring surrounding the top portion making this also weather and water resistant. So now let's talk about lighting modes. The Fred has quite a few. The first mode upon pushing a button is simply called three LED flashlight and that lights up the three LEDs on the top of the unit providing you with a flashlight that you could use to shine on the ground. That three LED flashlight could also be used as a signaling device for planes or helicopters flying overhead. 
The runtime for the three LED flashlight, however, is only six hours. The next mode is called a double blink, and this uses the red LEDs located around the outside of the unit. The runtime for this mode is around nine hours. The next mode is called the double pulse, which also uses the red LEDs. And the runtime for this is also around nine hours. The next mode is called a single blink. The amount of time the LEDs are lit up is very short compared to the other modes. And so the runtime for this is around 38 hours. The next mode is called rotate, which is supposed to be good for around nine hours of runtime. The next mode is called alternate, which is also good for nine hours of runtime. This next mode is pretty cool. This is a Morse code mode. And what this is doing is it's actually sending an SOS signal in Morse code. This mode is good for around 15 hours of runtime. Next, we have a solid on mode. This is high brightness, which is only good for five hours of runtime. Solid on, this is the low brightness, which is good for 28 hours of runtime. Finally, there is also a two LED flashlight mode. This could be used as a flashlight for the ground, or maybe if you wanted just the LEDs pointed in one direction to be lit up as well. This mode is good for nine hours of runtime. And so those are all the modes that the FRED is capable of doing. So now let's take a look at the flare alert. The flare alert has only three modes. The first mode is a flashing strobe effect. This flashing mode is good for 60 hours of runtime. The other mode is a steady on, which is only good for 20 hours, as well as off. So hopefully this will give you some type of comparison of brightness between the two devices. I think the flare alert has quite good brightness for only having the single bulb. The FRED has quite a few more bulbs, 10 altogether. However, each bulb points in a different direction, so it's not like you get 10 bulbs of brightness pointed in one direction the intensity of the, of the entire device is kind of spread out. So looking at it dead on, the flare alert, to be honest, almost looks brighter. But I think they are both very good in the amount of brightness they provide. And each would serve their purpose quite well. If I had to recommend one of these devices, I would have to go with the FRED. With the FRED, you get many more lighting modes as well as the three LED flashlight which is something that the flare alert simply does not provide. The ruggedness of the FRED is also much nicer than the flare alert. I feel like the FRED will last you a lot longer than the flare alert light. I was also fairly impressed with the build quality of the FRED. It feels very solid in the hand. Like as, as, I, as I said earlier, the ruggedness of it is very nice. The flare alert, the build quality left a little bit to be desired. I don't know if you can see very well on this device, but the black bo bottom portion of the device sticks out here on the side. It doesn't really line up quite seamlessly with the top red portion. So the build quality I feel like just wasn't as good as the FRED. Both the FRED and the Flare Alert come with their own little handy travel bags. The FRED bag is a little bit smaller than the Flare Alert and even has room for I think one more FRED. So you could probably fit four 
in this bag, the flare alert can only fit the three devices, and that's really all it can fit. So there you have it. That's been a comparison between the Fred light and the flare alert emergency light. I think you couldn't go wrong with either product. However, I would have to recommend the Fred over the flare alert just because of the extra features it provides, such as the white flashlight and the very and the numerous lighting modes you can put it in. However, if battery life and length of runtime is your ultimate concern, then the flare alert is definitely going to last you longer with its 20 and 60 hour runtimes. So that's been a comparison video of the Fred light and flare alert light. Take a look at the other videos on my channel and thanks for watching.